Yesterday as I was driving, check engine light it came on. So we'll uh, try to diagnose, see what code comes up. We'll be using, um, OBD2 reader, and we'll determine what, what code is uh, coming out of the car. Connected to the plug underneath uh, the footwell, by the footwell. Pull the cords. As you can see, there's one code found. We'll erase the existing codes. So we have a uh, EVAP. Leak detected, very small leak. PO456. We'll check a couple of things. So we will be checking the gas filler neck by um, the gas tank. And we'll also be checking the EVAP purge valve. Uh, we have a feeling the purge valve is it's probably had its days. Uh, the car does have a high mileage, so we figured it um, will replace it anyway. So let's get to it. The first thing we'll do, we'll check the, the filler neck and the instruction. As you can see, it looks pretty good. Um, clean a little bit. It's okay. The cleaning will check the tire and iron. Make sure every piece of the paper towel comes out. Nothing stays in there. Well, you see the little dust clean. It's pretty clean here. Um, rubber gasket around here as well. Make sure that's clean. And not uh, brittle. Pretty good so far. We'll spray a little bit of WD-40. We'll spray a little bit of WD-40 and then it'll clean out leftovers. Don't, don't spray too much, otherwise it gets into your gas tank. We don't want that. Let's settle in a little bit. Get it in with the finger. And now see if it's dried out. There should be enough in there. This looks pretty clean. I'll make sure no dirt goes in there inadvertently. Now we'll go to the engine bay and we'll check the evap uh, purge valve. If you have any other model uh, aside from the PIUs, the police interceptor utility, you have a cover on your engine. Remove that cover. There should be a couple of plastic holders, usually around this area and over here as well. And then just remove it. And this is the purge valve. So we'll disconnect the electrical just press and pull that comes off and the second one is you squeeze the green tabs and push to your left and it pops out just like that and uh, you pull this out put this to the side temporarily and uh, these are two eight millimeter screws we'll get our wrench and our sockets and we'll remove that Simply pull it up, it'll disconnect from the bottom as you see. Quickest way to test it is you blow it on either end. I'll clean it a little bit before I blow on it. It's supposed to be closed at all times. When it receives a signal, it opens and it purges out 
gases, but normally it's closed. So if you blow on it, you should not have any air passing through. If you hear any noises, then some air is passing through. So we'll try it now. I don't know if you can hear it. Uh, air is passing through. So this valve is defective. Great thing. We'll, uh, we'll replace that right away and now we should be good to go. So I ordered mine from Amazon, but if you have the opportunity, you should order an action scooter, whatever you like. Um, I hear that Duralast brand has a lifetime warranty, but that's always a great deal if you plan on keeping your vehicle for a long time. So that way, uh, if something happens again, you can always uh, get it replaced for free. And I'll do the same blow test on these to make sure that to show that these are uh, always closed. Yep, the wire is coming through. So to install it, we we'll simply insert here, and it's the reverse of reverse of uh, removal. We put in the eight mil screws. our initial valve on the bottom, insert it and push it to lock it in place. It's good. And we'll take our power connector. Oh, sorry about the camera. And we'll insert a power connector and that's it. We're good to go. If again, if you have the cover, just put your cover back on, clip those plastic clips on it and you're good to go. Now that we changed the evap valve, we'll turn on the car. Uh, the code should still be there. We'll clear the code with our uh, reader. And we'll Okay, cold erased. Um, now we'll drive around for about 100, 150 miles or so. Um, after that, make sure the cold doesn't come back. If it doesn't come back, you're good. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe.